So I just don't want you to waste too much of your time only to discover later on in your adult life that you're not getting any of that time back and the things you did did not advance you in any way. Of course he's mowing his lawn, right? I swear, every time I come outside to film a video, someone's mowing their lawn. That's why I so desperately want to move out of this town. I kind of live in the middle of a town and everything's so tightly packed that whenever anyone's doing something, everybody has to listen. And we've got the fire engines over there doing their routine maintenance check. Probably going to be hearing that in a couple minutes. But I want to talk to you guys real quick about time, time management. Because uh, the truth is, some of us have a lot more than others. And what you do with that time, of course, depends upon you and your desires and your situation and what you want to do with your life. But if you haven't really thought about it before, I want to take a moment and uh, try to inspire you. Because there was a time in my life, believe it or not, it wasn't too long ago, when I had all the time in the world, I had probably an average of eight hours of free time a day. Um, that was when I was in school, living back in Akron in my apartment with a couple of my friends and the first year or so of my marriage. Um, I was still a student, I was only working part time. Um, my wife had been working full time since I started college. She's been working her whole life. But she was paying a lot of the bills. Um, between the two of us, we made, we made enough money to live comfortably and have extra spending cash. And I only had classes two or three days a week, so I, I spent a lot of time. Um, honestly, I wasted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time. But that's where I was at that point in my life. I was, I was at a stage in my life where I was still shedding my youth. I was shedding my adolescence. And, um, you know, it's kind of like this outer layer of metaphorical skin that needs to eventually slough off, fall on the ground, and be left behind, much like a snake sheds its skin. Um, a lot of people, as they mature, as they begin to experience irreversible changes that come with adulthood, things like falling in love, getting married, settling down, having a child, graduating from your last stage of schooling, right? So for many of us, that's a bachelor's degree. Some of us go on to earn masters or, or doctorals, and you know, that eventually comes too. But there are these stages that we go through, and if you're a reasonable person, if you're an average person, I shouldn't have said reasonable. I, I suppose you can do whatever you want as long as it's within your own reason. But if you are a typical person, once you reach these stages, there's no going back, all right? Once you have a kid, there's no going back. You can get divorced, but there's, there's no going back from the emotional investment, all right? You can, you can leave your, your spouse and your child, but you're probably still gonna have to do child support payments. You're still gonna have that, that emotional scar. Once you graduate school, there's typically no going back. I mean, if you want to go back and get a second degree, be my guest, but you're basically entering indentured servitude at that point because you probably already have a mountain of debt. Um, and these are points in life where you, you have to shed the old you because if you hang on to it, it's going to slow you down. It's going to hurt you greatly. And so for those couple years when I had, on average, eight hours of free time a day, I spent it doing the things that I wanted to do. Unfortunately, that meant um, a lot of sleeping in. It meant playing a lot of video games with my friends or by myself. It meant watching lots of YouTube, which some of it was educational, believe it or not. There's a lot of great YouTube channels. But it was time that I could have spent, I could have invested that time into something more important like building this business. Now, back then, I had no idea I was going to start a business. I had no idea I was going to be a fitness coach. Um, I tried five or six different majors in school. Um, at one point I wanted to be a doctor, an environmental scientist, an officer in the army, a communications major, a physical therapist. I've tried everything and uh, you know I, I had no idea I was gonna be doing this so I can't really blame myself. But I still 
and disappointed that a lot of that time went to waste. So my message to you, my plea to you, is that if you have lots of free time right now, okay? I work from home, my wife works full time, I watch the baby all day long while she's gone, and I run a company from my home office. I have a couple hours of free time a day if I'm lucky. This is my free time because the baby is with, is with grandma. So I have a couple hours and I'm choosing to, to spend it making these videos for my YouTube channel. You won't always have the same amount of free time that you have right now. If you're in a place where you're making enough money to save a little bit or have some spending cash, you live comfortably, and you have ideas about maybe what you want to do with your life, I'm begging you, start doing it. Use your free time to advance in a direction. If it's not the right direction, your course will correct itself over time, I promise. Just, if you know anything about my story, my course has had huge, major corrections over the course of the last decade. And if I hadn't just started and put in some work and started crawling or walking in a certain direction, it would have taken me even longer to correct course. And I don't want you to waste your life waiting for the right moment only to start when it's too late and then have to correct course when you're 30 or 40. Don't do that. Take the free time you have right now, invest it in something worthwhile. Look into what it takes to start a company. Look into hiring a mentor or a coach to teach you how to lift weights, how to get in shape, how to start a business. Get a life coach if you need one. Find a therapist or someone who can help you get over depression or anxiety or any of the mental blocks that are holding you back and use your time to advance your life, advance your craft, advance your purpose. If I had used that three to five year period of time to build this company, I would, I would be so far ahead of where I am right now, but I didn't, and I wasn't ready, and that's okay. There's a chance that if you're not spending your time chasing some sort of bigger goal, maybe you're not ready yet, and that's okay because we all have to go through those stages. We all have to shed the skin of adolescence, and maybe you're just not done yet. Maybe you're not done molting. But when you are, you will know, and you will begin to advance forward. You'll begin to push yourself, and you'll probably end up like me and tell yourself, wow, I had so much free time. If I could go back in time and use it, I would use it differently. So I just don't want you to waste too much of your time, only to discover later on in your adult life that you're not getting any of that time back, and the things you did did not advance you in any way. So sit down, look at your schedule, Write it down in blocks if you have to, right? Draw seven squares for each day of the week. Write down your obligations and your responsibilities. And then underneath that, write maybe in a paragraph or two what your goals are, where you want to be five years from now, where you want to be 10 years from now. And think about the actions you need to take to get there, what kinds of people you need to meet, what kinds of places you need to go, what kind of skills you need to acquire, and begin to ask yourself, how can I use more of my free time to get those things. Good luck.